Welcome, this is Tom Brown at Eastern New Mexico University. Uh, I will be your instructor this summer for STAT 213. I want to say welcome, hello, and uh, hopefully your experience this semester with STATS will be an enjoyable experience. In this course, since it's an online course, we will be using my STAT Lab. So what I'd like to do today is spend some time going over my STAT Lab with you. Um, register for this course and, 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 and buy the um, uh, the code for getting into uh, my stat lab the first thing you need to do is you need to register on the my stat lab uh, website and the way you do that is you go to www.mystatlab.com and you look for the uh, red student button on the right hand side underneath register if you click on that it will take you to this particular page right here. And at this point, what you need to do is you need to enter the course ID. And the course ID for my course is Brown55354. Okay. If you forget that, that information is in your syllabus. Okay. Now, once you have um, entered that information, then you want to come back to the website and you want to sign in by clicking the sign in button. Okay. And when you sign in, you have to enter your your uh, login and your password. And when you do that, you'll get to a page that looks kind of like this. On the left-hand side, you will see a link that says STAT 213 Statistical Methods 1. Go ahead and click on that. If you look at this screen, you'll see that there are different areas. At the very top, you'll see that there is a calendar that will give you information about what's going on in the course on a particular day. On the left-hand side right here, or down the middle, you'll see that it gives you the upcoming assignments, announcements. It also gives you um, a listing of the results in the course. So how are you doing on your homework? How are you doing on your exams? All that information is here on the right. On the left hand side you'll notice that there are a set of blue buttons and this is what we want to spend most of the remainder of this video looking at. So the first button I want to click on says course materials. This page lists a lot of different uh, documents that you'll want to access during the semester. Right? The first document at the on this particular page is a student information sheet. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to click on this particular file, fill it in, and then send that file to me as an email attachment at Tom Brown at enumu.edu. Okay. Right. Because what I want to do is I want to I want to be able to contact you if if need be. Right. So this is the information that we are looking to collect. So again, your name, various phone numbers, an address, an email address, a location of two computers to be used for this course, and then any special accommodations needed to complete this course. Okay. You may be wondering why we want you to identify two computers for this course. Well, we just want to make sure that you have kind of a backup plan if your first computer uh, breaks down at some time during the semester. This course is is done completely on or is, is done completely online except for the final exam. So you need access to a reliable computer, and also you need access to the internet. So again, this is just um, uh, our attempt to to help you have a backup plan if your first computer um, malfunctions at some point during the semester. The next document I want to go over is, is a syllabus. I mean, we all know what a syllabus is. Uh, it gives you a description of the course. Um, it's important that you read the syllabus and understand what's in the syllabus. If there's anything in the syllabus that's not clear, please contact me by email. Um, my email address is tom.brown at enumu.edu. I've given you my office hours. Okay, these are times when I will be um, checking email. Okay. 
I'll also be checking email during other times other than these particular times right here. It's a policy in this course that I that I respond to your emails within two business days. So if you don't hear anything back from me within two business days, please send me another email. It's very important that I address any questions or concerns that you may have. There is a course description contained in the syllabus. Okay, and again, this is this is a beginning statistics class. Some of you may have had statistics in high school. Probably most of you haven't. Um, for many of you, this will be a new thing. It's, it's, it's not something that you've encountered in any of your algebra courses that you may have taken in high school or college. But hopefully it's a course that, that again, is enjoyable and you feel is useful uh, in, you know, in your future life. Okay. For this particular course, we require that you buy my math lab which is essentially the, th the same thing as my stat lab. Um, what you'll do for this particular course is you will buy access to my math lab, which gives you access to my stat lab. Again, here's the course ID that you will need when you uh, register uh, with my stat lab. Okay. For some of you, you may want to also buy the textbook. Now, the textbook is optional because you can access the textbook in electronic format through my stat lab. So again, the textbook is optional. Okay. And as always, since this is a math class, a math stat class, it's a good idea to have a scientific calculator. In this course, we will, you will be using my stat lab heavily. Um, most, most everything you do, do in this course will be, will be done through my stat lab. Any correspondence that you need to have with me or any information that my stat lab may be asking you in terms of your in terms of your uh, email address should be using the your ENMU email address. So, so in this particular course, don't use your Yahoo account or your your Hotmail account or your Gmail account. Make sure that you're always using your ENMU email account. Also, since you, you're going to be using my stat lab for this course, you have to have internet access. Okay, if you don't have internet access at your home, then you'll have to find internet access elsewhere. But but to be able to take this course, you have to have internet access. Okay. Your grade in this course will be determined as a weighted average of your homework, the discussion that you do on the discussion board the three exams that you will take in my stat lab and then the final exam which you will take using paper and pencil with a proctor. Okay. And again this is the weighting. So the homework is weighted 15 percent. Notice that you can't, we will drop your lowest two homework scores. Okay. If you do the ten or more discussions on the uh, discussion board then you will receive the full five percent of the discussion grade. Uh, each of the exams, one through three, are worth 15% of your grade each, which gives which gives a, a total of 45%. Okay. Notice that you will be allowed to retake each exam, or you'll be able to take each each exam twice. All right. So again, you can take the exam once, and then based on how you do, then you can retake the exam. And uh, what we will do is we will go ahead and record the second grade in my stat lab. Okay. I will be checking in on your on your prog progress daily. It's very important that um, I make sure that people are doing the work. If you're not doing the work, I will probably send you an email reminding you, encouraging you to to uh, do the to do the work in my stat lab. If you don't do the work in, if you don't do the work in my stat lab, you can't pass the class. So again, it's very important that you stay up and do things on a daily basis. The departmental policy states that a student must score at least a 60 on the final exam to pass the class. Passing the final does not guarantee that you will pass the class. If a student scores at least a 60 on the final, then grades will be averaged as stated above. Scoring below a 60 on the final ensures an automatic F for the course. So it's very important that during the semester that the work that you do reflect your effort because you will be held responsible for um, demonstrating understanding of, of the content on the final exam. All the homework in this in this course will be done through my stat lab. 
and it will be automatically graded by my stat lab. Okay. Um, I will allow you to redo the homework until you feel satisfied with, with your grade on the homework. Okay. I would encourage you to work the homework until you feel that you've mastered the material for that particular section. Okay. Communication in this, in this course between you, myself, and other students is, is important. Um, I'm requiring that each student submit 10 meaningful threads on the discussion boards. Okay. These, these threads must be meaningful. For example, um, a meaningful thread would be a question concerning a homework that you a homework assignment that, that maybe you have a, that, that you're not able to answer and then someone else could go ahead and provide hints or maybe a partial solution to that homework and that would be considered as a meaningful thread. Okay. Idle chit chat, for example, is not considered a meaningful post or a meaningful thread. Okay. Again, um, I will uh, guarantee that I will, will re respond to any email, email that you uh, submit within two business days. Okay. The exams, um, there will be three exams during the semester. You're allowed two attempts on each of the, the chapter exams. Um, I strongly suggest that you take your first attempt at least one day prior to the due date to allow time for studying your, studying your mistakes and improving your grade if needed. Okay, and the completion dates are shown on the completion dates document, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. Okay, uh, again, the final exam is comp comp comprehensive and will be proctored. Okay, the final exam is paper and pencil, while the three exams you take prior to the final exam will be done through my stat lab. Okay, uh, it is the responsibility of each student to find an approved proctor. If you live within 200 miles of Portales, then you will need to come to ENMU to take the final exam at 10 a.m. on Friday, July 22nd, 2012, this summer. Okay. If you live further than 200 miles from Portales, then you will need to find a college testing center to proctor your exam. And in a few minutes, I will talk about the forms that have to be filled out if you're going to have someone proctor the exam. Um, when you live further than 200 miles from Portales. Okay. For those students coming to campus to take the final exam, please return your completed proctor form directly to me through email. Uh, the proctor on campus will be Dr. Jarman. Okay. Um, so again, if you, if you live more than 200 miles from Portales, you have to find a proctor at a college. Okay. And you need to fill out the proctor information form and have that sent to extended learning at EMU. In the, in the point of contact, it will be Judy Privet. If you live within 200 miles of Portales, then what you'll do is simply fill out the form and send it to me by email. And my email again is tom.brown at enmu.edu. Okay. The lectures for this course have been recorded previously by Dr. Jarman. And those are available on my stat lab. Okay, the lectures were recorded through MediaSite, and I will talk about how you can access access those a little bit later in this video. Okay, if you have to drop this course, if for some reason you have to you have to drop this course and you want to receive a grade of W, then you have to do that by June 29th. For those people who are in Portales, if you want to access tutoring, you can do that through uh, Student Services. And if you want to set up an appointment, call 575-562-2286. Again, if you have other questions, please feel free to contact me by email or post something to the discussion board for others to, to comment on. Okay. As I mentioned before, it's important that you identify two computers that you can work on because if the first computer um, malfunctions, then you'll have a second computer that you can still use. Okay. All right. And always, you're going to need you, you will need internet access to be able to access my stat lab. Okay. If you have a disability, there is a process for accommodations through services for students with disabilities at ENMU.